Fabio Wardley versus Daniel Martz. Who do y'all think is going to win this fight? Before I get more into the video, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more boxing and please hit that like button. It helps out the video. It helps out the channel. I'd really appreciate it. So to those who don't know, this fight is scheduled for, for 10 rounds in the heavyweight division to take place this coming weekend on the 27th of February, February 27, 2022, live over the O2. Keep in mind that that's on a Sunday. Uh, fight will be taking place in the undercard of the Lawrence Acoli versus Mikhail Chislak fight to be shown live around the world on the zone, except for in Australia and New Zealand for whatever reason. So tune into the zone if you want to see this fight. So, um, yeah, what do you guys think about this fight between Wardley and Martz? Before I talk about who I think will win, to those who don't know, uh, Fabio Wardley is a rising heavyweight from the UK, uh, currently undefeated with a record of 12 wins, 0 losses, 11 wins, coming by way of knockout TKO at the age of 27 years old. He's coming off a TKO win against Nick Webb. The only time he went the distance was in his professional fight against Jakub Wojcik. Wojcik? Wojcik? <laughs> oh my god, bro. This is just... <clears throat> okay, I wasn't laughing there. I was I was coughing. I was coughing. Um, but if, man, these names are tough to pronounce. Um, anyway, uh, Wardley is uh, coming off. <laughs> I apologize. Uh, Wardley is coming off. Uh, you know, a win. TKO wins for how many years now? Tw four or five years since he turned pro. He's been stopping all these opponents, and now here he is. Um, you know, he's had a big win already against Eric Molina. And here he is starting off 2022 against Daniel Martz, a uh, fighter from West Virginia, Clarksburg, West Virginia, USA. 20 and 9, one draw, 17 wins coming by way of Nakar Tiko. Just passed by there a couple, uh, last week actually, this last week. Went there last week. Um, anyway, or a couple weeks ago actually. Was it last week or a couple weeks ago? Anyway, uh, Daniel Martz, um, you know, he's coming off a win against uh, Michael Maroon. Uh, back in 2020, he has not fought at all in more than a year. Uh, you've probably seen him in there against the likes of Charles Martin, Luis Ortiz, Brian Jennings, Joseph Parker. Um, who else do I recognize? You know, he's been there against some big names, but I, I think we can all agree that he's a fighter that they hire uh, just so that the the A side will get a W, and that's the same case here, to be honest. Um, Daniel March is traveling to the UK just to get knocked out by Wardley. Wardley should be able to go out there and outpower, outpunch, and uh, knock out Martz probably in round number three, if I have, if, if I have to guess. Um, at least in my opinion, I think I think the the power in uh, the power of Wardley will be too much for March to handle, and uh, I see March just getting knocked out here. Just you know, hopefully he goes home safe, and um, and yeah. Uh, yeah, it's going to be one of those fights. It's going to be one of those fights. The A-side will win. But I, I hope, you know, it would be nice to see um, Martz get a big win before he retires. How old is he now? He uh, doesn't show his age. Let me just Google him real quick. Um, yeah, does not show his age here. Uh, let's go. With... Yeah, doesn't show his age. But I'm pretty sure it's al almost... He should be... In his late thir oh 1990, so he's what, 32, turning 32 this year. So hopefully he gets one big win before he retires. You know what I mean? I mean he's been in there against big names, and uh, you never know, right? Anything's possible in the heavyweight the heavyweight division. One punch can change the entire fight. So we'll see. But in my opinion, Wardley should be able to go out there at least on paper, get a W, no problem. Let me know your thoughts. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And like always, have a great day. Alright, thanks.